1798 was an eventful year for Jefferson. He was, he was losing the Republic with the Alien and Sedition Acts. The French were climbing on ships and fleeing the country. Uh, yeah, the first federal tax, direct tax, was levied, and he had to put up with that, and on and on. And Beverly Hemings was born in April. And in the fall, he receives this letter from Short that kind of strikes at the core of what Jefferson is trying to accomplish. Uh, this really considers, my presentation considers Jefferson and Short as transitional figures in this period of, of transition from uh, a colonial economy into a capitalist economy that began sometime, certainly after the French and Indian War. Uh, the material I'm going to present is part of a larger project in which I'm mapping the material culture across the community of plantations using Jefferson's financial data as the beginning point. So I'm using, uh, it, we're converting uh, thanks to uh, the, the, the early work really done by Cinder Stanton that I'm in, forever indebted to with the Jefferson Memorandum books. We're transcribing that narrative data into an electronic format so that we can do uh, kind of a business analysis. Preliminarily, what that shows is the following. If this may be a revisionist, I'm not sure, but uh, this is what I'm going to probably standard. Jefferson was a skilled manager of cash flow, very skilled, with the help of William Short. He was an assiduous keeper of accounts, we know that. He was a keen observer of investment risks, again, with the help of William Short. He was a creditor to family, friends, and near strangers, and he was a financial manager who routinely diverted Short's money to his own use. <laughs> he was, uh, they're transitional figures because Jefferson was really rooted in the 18th century. Land, social esteem, and social status honor were what was really the foundation of his, of, of his business. Uh, Short represents really the emerging investor looking for a balanced portfolio and really being much more uh, analytical about where he wanted to put his money. Jefferson uh, fashioned uh, a uh, complex life for himself. He was a farmer, certainly a lawyer, public service. We know less about his being a landlord. Of course, he had the nailery. We don't know really so much about his land speculation, although Milton uh, was one of those places. We have read very little about him as a moneylender and certainly almost nothing as a financial manager. Uh, he fashioned this complex life and tried to live it and still at the end of his life was bewildered. He said, <laughs> when I reflect on all the circumstances, my wonder is that I should have been so long as 60 years in reaching the result to which I am now reduced. Facing penury at the end of his life, he probably would have acknowledged in a, in, a, in a less cautious moment that William Short had been an important part of helping him finance that life. William Short was really the financial oil of Jefferson's social uh, capital. 